Smoke it, then tax it. Today, Democrat lawmakers rolling out new legislation to regulate and tax marijuana in states where it is legal. Congressman Earl Blumenauer is behind that push. Congressman, welcome to the program, sir. Thank you. Um, as I understand it, the proposal, it would basically add a federal tax of roughly $50 per ounce and you believe that that would bring in a total of twenty billion dollars extra revenue per year that sounds like an it must be an awfully big pot market in america is it that big well estimates vary but the fact is that it is billions of dollars that we spend to arrest two-thirds of a million people a year for something that half americans think should be legal and two-thirds say let the states regulate it okay. it would stop the cost it would like we tax alcohol it would put money to reduce the deficit and we would start having a more rational policy regarding marijuana so it wouldn't bring in twenty billion dollars in revenue directly from the pot tax that's that's not the case we, right okay we actually don't know okay there have been some estimates that suggest that the voters in colorado and in the state of washington by moving to legalize recreational uh, marijuana use could cost drug cartels over a billion dollars. The point is we don't know how much, but it's we're spending a lot of money on a program that's not working and we are losing a lot of revenue that could help reduce the deficit. Legalization could though bring the price of pot on the street or in a legal store could bring it right down because if you take the criminality out of it and there's no penalty for it and you've only got a fifty dollar per ounce tax and I understand that some high-grade marijuana goes for six, seven, eight hundred dollars an ounce. You actually bring down the cost, don't you? Which would surely encourage usage. Well, I'm not certain that we have uh, uh, had much success in terms of discouraging it with high costs and criminal penalties when we're told that something like 18 million people used it last month. Okay. Uh, and over half the American public has tried it. But the, the economics will sort their way out. The point is, we're spending billions on a failed policy, and we could be collecting billions. I think the net swing would easily be over $100 billion over the next 10 years. The critics. Savings and reducing the deficit. Real fast, Congressman. The critics say... A, marijuana is a gateway drug encouraging other kinds of drugs, and this legalization and tax method that you've got here opens the door to the legalization of other drugs. It's another gateway to further legalization. What do you say? Hogwash. I mean, people are using it now. Uh, that's not an issue. It is less dangerous and less destructive than tobacco in terms of its addictive qualities. But the point is, let the states decide Two have already done that for recreational use. Nineteen have done it for medical marijuana. The federal government should get rid of an absolutely unrealistic uh, system that classifies it as being worse than meth or cocaine right. and turn it from a cost to something that will help reduce the deficit. Congressman Blumenauer, thank you very much for joining us today, sir. Much appreciated. Thank you. My, my pleasure.